Hi, it's Chris and I'm based in the UK. Hello, I'm doing a Sousa Gate today. For anybody who follows me, you know that I usually do my seascapes with uh, rocky shorelines and this is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to paint the sky really dark but I'm going to do that afterwards so that it's going to be really dark, most probably I'll use Payne's Grey and then just above the horizon line I'm going to have a real shot of light colour here blending into the Payne's Grey. So you see, you can see I've got a whole range of cups. I'm just going to do straight flip cups. When the paint's still wet, I will most probably put some silicone swipes to create some of the shapes in the shingle and everything and build on what I get from my flip cups. It's a large canvas, uh, 45 centimetres by 60. I'm using some really beautiful colours for the sea today. I've got some iridescent blue greens, some cerulean blues, the main bulk of it is going to be the Prussian blue and a phthalo turquoise colour. And I'm going to mix these and layer these together in the cups. For the sands, I'm going to use yellow ochres, Naples yellows, those kind of warm tones. But I'm dropping in a hint of dark grey and white. Flip cups. I um, want the sky horizon line to be about here. Okay. Good, 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 good luck, guys. Wow, that's truly lush. Like that. That's the Naples yellow being reactive. Mm. That is truly lush. Oh, darkness. I spread the paint around. I'm not going to torch, even though there's air bubbles in it. I can see there's air bubble, bubbles in it. I don't want to get huge cells, so I'm not going to torch. Those colours are looking truly lush though. I finished for the moment. I don't want to do any more because I'll make it more muddy. But I'm really loving these um, effects here. Just, just the stone, and there might be some water in here. And then you've got this beautiful breaking um, water here. Okay, this is almost dry because it's cold in the UK now. This is taking for ages to dry. You can see it's still. You can see it's still wet here. However, it's dry here at the top now, so I'm going to work on the um, sky. I've got a slope here. Now, if I want the painting to recede, that needs to be straight. It can't be waved at this kind of slope as it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this in and make this straight. And then I'm going to work on the sky part and the plan is to have a lighter colour here into the dark.
really love how the shingle rocky parts turned out. Some of the cells are wonderful. And the sea, I haven't spoken much about it. It's got some iridescent turquoise in there, which gives it a fantastic shimmer. And there's some really beautiful paint effects. The sky was a bit of a nightmare. It took me three goes to get it to where I was happy with it. I love this painting and I hope you enjoyed this video. Do take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.